Hey, what is going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. As we all know, Overwatch 2 Season 5 has been dropped last month and I know I'm a little late on making this video but a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this. So once again, I'm back again with the best settings for Overwatch 2 Season 5. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Don't forget to leave any part of this video to ensure best performance. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is essential windows settings and for that you need to open up the settings part of your windows and then once you are here look over for the gaming section then in here make sure to go to xbox game bar and disable it xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and this may cause your game to crash or get lower fps while you're playing so make sure that xbox game bar is turned off go back to gaming go to game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled this will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background allowing you a smoother and immersive gaming experience without any interruptions of notifications or something like that right beneath that there are related settings called graphic settings Settings, click on it and you will find a lot of settings right over here now don't worry what you need to do is click on these change default graphic settings and make sure to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and optimization for windowed games I don't know if these options are available for Windows 10 but they are surely available for Windows 11 and this will optimize your PC by utilizing your graphic card for gaming and also this will reduce the latency and improve the performance whenever you're playing the game so make sure to enable both of these optimizations then go back to graphics and right over here you will find a list of all of the application and in games that requires graphic card on your pc to play or run now here you will also find a browse button through which you can go and add any application that you want simply by going and adding the exe file from the destination or the directory of the file now i already see my games installed over here so um, you will find uh, overwatch by default it is automatically picked up if not you can go to the installation location and pick it up now what you need to do is go to options and then simply click on high performance same for the launcher go and use high performance now step number two is de-animating your windows and this is really important windows by default comes with a lot of animations just like these and they consume memory and they can cause fps stutters or lags to disable all of these what you need to do is search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your pc and the performance option will open right in front of you click on adjust for best performance and select two options over here one of which is show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts this will disable all of the unnecessary animations on your windows and that will give you a smoother flow and better look in windows and this will optimize your pc drastically also in the advanced section make sure that the processor scheduling is set to programs for a lot of laptop users it could be set to background services so just do a simple cross check once it is done simply click on ok step number three is system configuration and this is where we play with the boot system configuration you need to search on your windows just as simple as that and this window will pop right in front of you now click on the boot section and then make sure that your current os is selected click on advanced options and then click on number of processors select the maximum number of processors available for your pc this will ensure smoother boot and improve gaming performance in the long run simply click on ok and click on ok now step number four is optimizing your pc thoroughly through gear up booster gear up booster is a very simple application which you can go and download from the link in the description below you can simply come to this website click on download windows for completely free and the application looks like this now once you are here you will see a cleaner interface just like here and what it does is you have to go over to the game section and you will find all of the games over here these are just the hot games but you can simply search for most of the games it is already added in here what we are interested in is overwatch 2 now once you click on it it will be added to your home screen you can just simply click on this select the server which you play in i play in asian servers and singapore is near for me now simply click on it and that will optimize your PC completely. It will give you PC boost as well as network boost and this will reduce your FPS drops as well as high ping and latency issues on your game. This application finds adaptive intelligence routing that connects you to the faster game servers. Now it will be automatically done and you need to simply close this and as you guys can see we are getting a 67% improvement just by using this application. You can always click on configure and set the launch platform. 
okay you can click on launch path and go to the installation location of your overwatch 2 and simply launch the game through this application over here it also has a configure button where you can go and click on configure click on system settings and make sure to enable start boosting on startup as well as run on startup so you never have to open this application again and you can optimize every single game you open by default also go to optimization settings and then click on optimize ram after boosting click on console imcp speed test as well as local dns and once you're done with that you can simply close your optimization gear up booster supports windows consoles and mobile games so it is supported on multiple platforms and these are all the platforms that gear up booster supports you can simply download gear up booster from the link in the description below try it for free and if gear up booster helps you guys you can get a membership for one month 12 months or three months right from the application make sure to go check out gear up booster for completely free links in the description below step number five is creating a restore point and i highly recommend you guys to do it Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once the system properties opens up, you need to look for local disk C or the drive it says system. Make sure that protection is turned on. If not already, you can go to configure and make sure to click on turn on system protection. Then click on create and name it overwatch. Just so you remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if your PC breaks down due to any registry files, you always have the complete backup file of your PC and you do not lose any data. So once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number six is the Overwatch 2 season five FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download and open this thing up. It looks like this. The first folder has the CPU priority. Second one has the RAM priority. Third one has the Overwatch priority. And the last one is the programs that can be optimized your gaming performance let's open the first folder and over here you need to select the amd or intel cpu based on which cpu using you have to run the registry files so for that you need to open up system information on your pc and then look for your processor right over here now i'm using an amd processor it could be intel for you so i have left both files also take a look on your installed physical memory it is 32 gb for me because we're going to be using it ahead in the video now I need to run the AMD CPU priority, but if you are using an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. This will improvise your CPU performance and compatibility with most of your hardware. Also make sure to run the low end PC optimization, which will disable all of the unnecessary services, which are consuming a lot of memory in the background. This will ultimately result in improving your FPS drastically. Now come back and open up the second folder, which is the RAM optimization. And this is exactly why I told you to remember your RAM. Now I'm using 32 GB RAM for myself. It could be different for you. So I have left a ton of presets over here to choose from. And once again, if you don't like the performance, you can always set it to default and it will go back to the default settings. Once you're done with this, go back to the third folder, which is the Overwatch priority. And for this one, I want you guys to comment your specifications down below in the video. And I will be telling you guys which priority that you need to use. Now, because every system is different, I want you guys to put the optimal priority. So just comment down your specifications and I will be replying with the best priority pack for you guys. Lastly is the programs folder. And now this is where you will find cache cleaner and unpark CPU. Now, with the first one, you need to right click and run this as administrator. Now, this will remove all of the unnecessary files from your computer. And don't worry, this is completely safe. Once it is done, it will close and then open up the unpark cpu.exe. And this is one of the most important applications right over here. Right click and run this as administrator. Now, once it opens up, you will see a simple interface, a box like window right in front of you. Now over here, you will find enabled as well as parked cores on your PC. Windows by default has this tendency to part the unusing cores on the PC. And if you are playing the games and by chance your PC is not utilizing all of the cores, it may park the cores in the background. And that will lead to stuttering of FPS or low FPS in the game. It basically helps you set a system power plan. So if you are using a laptop, make sure to go and use balanced and if you're using a pc i highly recommend you guys to use ultimate performance then you will find a setting called core parking index and this is where you need to set it 100 percent unparked now that will allow your system to not park the cores in the background and hence all of the cores will be actively performing when you are playing the game and now once you're done with that simply click on apply and then close system cpu now once you're done with all of these steps above i highly recommend you guys to go and drop in the game for the best in-game settings 
Okay, so once you are in your game, what you need to do is press the escape button and then go over to the options part. And then you need to head on to the video section and for the display mode, I would always recommend you guys to play on full screen for better optimization. For target display, make sure to go with the best match and select. For the resolution, you can lower your resolution down by select the frame rate to the highest to get better performance. For the field of view, keep it always 103. For the aspect ratio, keep it to the native monitor ratio. Then for the dynamic render scale, you can turn this thing off. Render scale, keep it custom and in game resolution, you can lower it down to somewhere between 85 or 75 just to get, you know, better that performance. So um, you can go with somewhere between 80, 80% 80 would be great. For the frame rate, you can go with automatic. For the V-Sync, keep it off, triple buffering off, reduce buffering on, then VDR reflex, keep it enabled plus boost, then make sure that HDR is turned off. Head over to the graphics quality and then for the graphics quality, make sure to set everything to low that will give you the best visibility as well as the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button down below since it really helps me out. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.